So moving on to our next topic on mobile automation with APM, we are going to look at how we can set up APM on our Windows machine. As part of this setup, we are going to set up Java and Node.js. We are going to set the environment variables for the Java home directory. Then uh, we are going to look at how we can use NPM to install APM. And then we'll also install an APM driver for Android applications, which is the UI automated too. So let's get started with uh, downloading and installing Java on our Windows machine. So for Java, uh, we need to download and install the JDK. So you can search for JDK download and go to the Java downloads page. Here uh, we can download uh, the appropriate version of the JDK. So uh, let's go ahead and download the JDK uh, 21 version for now. And uh, we will be installing it on Windows. So we'll be downloading this particular installer, okay? So we will save this. And once it's complete download, then we will go ahead and install Java on our machine. So we'll go through the setup and we'll complete the installation for the JDK 21 version. So once the Java installation is complete, then close this installation window and then uh, we will go ahead and we will quickly verify whether Java is installed. So we will type here Java version. And then uh, you'll be able to see the Java version right here. Uh, it will show you the runtime environment build and the Java uh, server VM, okay? So all these components uh, should be displayed once you have installed the JDK. So next, uh, we also need to set the environment variables. So I will go ahead and do that. So we'll edit the system environment variables. We'll go to environment variables. And here uh, we are going to add a new variable. We are going to call this Java underscore home. And then uh, we will browse the directory. So where it is installed. So we will go to C and then we'll go to program files and then Java, and we'll go to JDK. So this is where it is installed, okay? So we'll choose this directory. This will be the Java underscore home directory, and uh, this will be the variable name, okay? So click on okay, and now it is set. Next, we need to now uh, install Node.js. So uh, we will click on download here, and here you will see uh, which version you want to install. So I will install the latest one for Windows, okay? So this installation uh, also consists of the NPM, uh, which is required for uh, APM. So once it's downloaded, then again, go through the installation and complete it. So once the installation is complete, then click on finish. And then let's go back to our command prompt and type here node and then version. So that should give you the Node.js version. And then you can also type NPM and version. That should also give you the respective version of NPM, okay? So these are uh, the prerequisites, which is to uh, install Java and uh, Node.js with NPM. Now moving on to our next step, which is to download and install APM. Let's type APM download in our browser. And here we will uh, click on uh, the APM documentation and here it will tell you uh, which version you want to install. So we'll select here 2.5, that's the latest version. And then it will also tell you how to install APM globally. Uh, we will use the NPM, which is the package manager for Node.js application and APM is a Node.js application. Okay, so let's go back to our command prompt now. And here we are going to run the command to install APM. So we will type here npm i and then global APM. We'll hit enter and that should start installing uh, the APM on our Windows machine.
we'll wait for this installation to complete okay so once uh, the installation is complete then uh, we can type apm to start the apm server you should get a message like welcome to apm and the version here and then uh, you will see that the apm rest uh, listener started on this particular uh, port 4723 uh, on our local host okay so this will basically start the apm server and this is how you run your apm now uh, no drivers have been installed here you can see here uh, we can also install some apm drivers um, but uh, in order to stop the server you can just type or you can just press Control c and that will basically shut down the apm server okay so this is how you can start and stop the server once you have installed apm on your windows machine now that we have installed apm let's move on to our next step which is to install an apm driver and we'll be installing a driver for android which is the ui automated 2. so let's see how we can do that um, let's search here ui automator to driver okay and uh, you will get this link on the apm documentation uh, choose the version 2.5 here uh, so this is the instructions to install the ui automator 2 driver okay and here you will see this is the command so again we'll be using uh, apm driver to install the ui automator 2 so we'll type here apm and then driver install ui automator 2 hit enter and then uh, it should install the ui automator 2 driver for apm which will be uh, used for um, automating the android applications so we'll wait for this installation to complete okay so once the installation is complete then you will get this message uh, driver ui automator uh, and the version successfully installed and the platform names you can see it as android the automation name is ui automated 2. so with this uh, we have completed the first part of our apm setup on windows so until now we have installed uh, node.js and uh, java we have set the environment variable for java we have installed uh, the APM um, and we have seen how to start and shut the APM server. And then we installed a driver for APM, which is UI Automated 2 for Android applications. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.